Ian, welcome to Leicester. It's obviously been a long time coming, having originally agreed to join the 2021 season, yeah. but you must be pleased to finally be here. Yeah, very excited to get started. Um, like you said, I should have been here last season, but it didn't work out um, due to international duty, but very happy to be here and hopefully I can contribute this week. Obviously, you haven't had long to assess things, but what are your first thoughts of the club and of your new teammates? Yeah, it's amazing. Guys are super, super welcoming. Um, I really enjoyed my first practice. Um, tough conditions as usual. Um, um, if you look at the county circuit, it's been uh, interesting two, two games so far, but um, yeah, very excited. It's going to be a great start to us. Obviously, it is your first taste of county cricket, quite a relentless schedule. What are you expecting from the summer? Um, yeah, just expecting to play a lot of cricket. Like you said, it's quite a um, tough schedule, but um, it's a lot of cricket and that's why I signed up, I guess, to, to really try and contribute as much as I can to Leicester and um, yeah, play as much as I can and really enjoy it. We've obviously got quite a strong South African connection in our team already with the likes of Buren, Ackers, Claude Henderson uh, and Alfonso Thomas. Have you leaned on them already for any initial advice? Yeah, so I've played a lot with Buren um, over the last six, five, six years and yeah, I got a lot of advice from him on how he started and what he thinks works and what doesn't work. Also spent some time with Hendo um, yesterday with Claude and yeah, I got some advice from him too. So hopefully I can take all of that into the game this week. Obviously you've been busy domestically with the Lions, then with the Test squad back in South Africa. You've had your first net, as you mentioned today. How are you feeling with your batting and your bowling rhythm-wise? Yeah, very good. Um, I've recently had COVID, um, which has kind of put me back a little bit, about 10 days or so. So I haven't touched the ball or bat or any done any training for about 10, 12 days. So um, it was nice to get out there today. Felt a little bit of rhythm with the ball. Um, felt a little bit of rhythm with the bat. So. Um, it's going to be it's going to be an interesting start, but I'm pretty sure after t tomorrow's prep and today's prep, I should be okay. And obviously, as we mentioned, it's your first taste of county cricket. So, how do you go about preparing for pitches and an opposition that you haven't faced before? Yeah, it's pretty foreign to me, um, to be honest. Uh, I played a little bit at Kent in 2019. I got a taste for for the Duke ball in particular. Um, I found it quite tricky to bowl with, and it does swing a little bit more than what the cricket does back home. Um, and learning like the wobble seam and that type of thing. So don't know much about the conditions, but as I go, I'll lean on my teammates to try and figure it all out and, and hopefully I can contribute and, and to us winning. So. And obviously you can contribute with both bat and ball. You're here for the county championship and, and the one day cup as well. Yeah. Have you got any personal targets or collective targets for 2022? Just want to enjoy it. Contribute as much as I can to the team, compete and hopefully get us on, win, on the winning streak, um, a, a winning streak. So. Yeah, no, no personal thing, it's just want to enjoy it and, and contribute to the team.